All right. First, can I have you say and spell your first and last name, and I'll just title you as a candidate for mayor. My name is Wayne Ritchie, uh, W-A-Y-N-E, R-I-C-H-E-Y, uh, Boise native, uh, running for mayor of Boise. All right. So, Wayne, just look at me during okay. this. Pretend the camera's not All right. even there. Uh, let's start off with the first question. What made you decide to run for mayor? There has been an invasion. It used to be constant growth. Uh, Californians moving in, not a big deal. But this is an invasion. And they've driven up home prices so high, locals can't afford to live here anymore. Uh, there's very little chance of our children at the wages Boise pays right now to live here. That's why all your friends live in Star and Middleton and Tuna and stuff like that. So to you, what are the biggest issues facing Boise today? Why? What are some possible solutions to those issues? Uh, obviously, 20, 30,000 people moving into the valley every year. The valley cannot sustain that, cannot absorb that many people. The schools can't keep up, ACHD can't keep up, cities can't keep up. It's, like I said, it used to be constant growth, now it's not. Uh, as far as fixing those things, Affordable housing, that's going to fix 1% of the people. Uh, transportation, everybody drives cars. And now, instead of driving a couple miles to work, everybody's driving 20, 30 miles to work. And uh, like I say, the constant growth, 20, 30,000 people a year, it's only going to get worse. Everything all the other candidates are promoting, it's just band-aids. It's not addressing that problem. So, does that what help? <laughs> what do you think about the recent growth for Boise? Do you think that's been good or bad? It's been horrible. It's the worst thing in the world for the Valley. Uh, honestly, I think Day Beater, ACHD, they've done everything right. They've done what a mayor should be doing. ACHD has been planning for the growth. Uh, but we just can't keep up with this kind of volume of new people. So for you, what would you want Boise to look like in 20 years, and how would you work towards that? I really feel that what we have now is what we should have. It's, it's perfect. That's why we are on all these top ten lists of cities in America. Unfortunately, and this is the elephant in the room, uh, <laughs> unfortunately, and this is the elephant in the room, uh, so many Californians specifically have moved here that now the locals can't. You know, uh, I don't care about the parks. I don't care about the schools if my kids can't live here. You know, why should we spend our tax dollars and our efforts making everything wonderful just for Californians when they get here? So what new ideas would you bring to the position, you know, mainly uh, as far as your platform was maybe when it comes to trying to limit this growth? I know this sucks and a lot of people are unhappy about it, but I want to make Boise the most undesirable city in America. We have to get off of those top ten lists. People are moving here simply on Google searches. You Google wonderful cities in America, Boise is always on those lists. And people are moving here just off of Google searches. Uh, quit spending money on parks, quit spending money on traffic, quit spending money, uh, let the homeless live wherever they want. If you have a better idea, I'm all ears. Uh, but like I say, as long as the Californians keep coming, it's not going to get better. Yeah. I have one thing to that. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, a little bit of history on myself. Uh, Grandma and Grandpa the Noggle came here and dug the Newark Canal and built Arrowrock Dam. Grandpa Richie came here in the 40s, opened a, built a dairy in Cuna. Uh, it would dishonor those people to just sell off this city to the highest bidder. You know, I'm here for my children. They came here for their children and their grandchildren, not to just be sold off. Right. That help? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. You know, uh, I'm a native, uh, born and raised here. 
And, and, and seriously, I, I, I need to talk to the mayor about this. Everything they've done is what a mayor should be doing, and they've done an amazing job. But, like I say, the city simply cannot absorb 20,000, 30,000 people a year. It, we will never keep up. You know? So, <laughs> how's that? <laughs> Thank you.